And I, I thought about my mother, who didn't want me to play a lesbian in a Woody Allen film, but it was okay if I played Adam in the Purim contest at Temple Emmanuel. <laughs> Do you see the hair on my chest? Oh, mommy, please. Please don't put the hair on. I have to, honey, or they won't know you're Adam. Yes, they will. Look at the way I'm dressed. And my sister Linda's playing Eve. They'll know. Honey, they have to know you're the man. Well, we won first prize, and it was humiliating and wonderful because my mother loved winning contests. In fact, she won the contest playing Queen Esther in the Purim contest when she was 14, and my father, who was 16, saw her from across a crowded room, and he said to his best friend Mitchell, I'm going to marry that girl. And five years later, he did. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> My mother and father loved doing amateur theater at the temple. They would do spoofs on things, like they did a spoof on the opera Carmen. They called it Carmen Shapiro. <laughs> and my father did not play Don Jose, he played Don Yassel. <laughs> and my mother was in the chorus singing and dancing, having a wonderful time, even though my father was having an affair with the woman who played Carmen, Beverly Epstein, Stein, Beverly Epstein. San Francisco reformed Jews, Stein, not Steen. I mean, we had a rabbi who would say, Hero is Royal. I had no idea he was saying Israel. <laughs> and we, we celebrated Christmas and Hanukkah, not Hanukkah, Hanukkah. And my mother would talk like this, is he Jewish? Is she Jewish? Are they Jewish? I never heard the word Jewish out loud till I came to New York. And somebody said to me, are you Jewish? I said, hey, take it easy, duck and cover. <laughs> so my father was fatutsin with another woman and he was becoming a problem drinker, not an alcoholic, a problem drinker. Jewish man is a problem drinker. And we got through the smell of betrayal at home by singing songs for musicals. Uh, Kiss Me Kate, Oklahoma, uh, South Pacific, Pajama game, I'm not at all in love, not at all. And we would put that old LP on that old phonograph and sing our way into denial. <laughs> but while my parents were on stage, they were happy and I just wanted to be up there with them. So I was given a prescription, I mean a subscription, <laughs> to uh, Theater Arts Magazine by my communist aunt, Klarna Pinska. And every month, a magazine would arrive with the latest Broadway star on the cover. And this one month, there was a picture of Anne Bancroft on the cover doing the miracle worker. And she was making the sign of the letter L because she was teaching Helen Keller sign language. And honest to God, there was something about that picture of Anne Bancroft and that story of bringing a little girl from the darkness into the light that was just magnetic. And I took that magazine and I rubbed it on my face and breathed it in as if I could transport myself into that world like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. And years later, I got a call to audition for The Miracle Worker. And I said to my teacher, Uta Hagen, I said, Uti, I just saw Anne Bancroft in the movie of The Miracle Worker, and I can't get her out of my head. And Uta said, then don't. And I didn't. And I got the part. And now I'm in the, uh, thank you, you didn't see me. I was good, though. The Hartman Theater in Stamford, Connecticut. Now, the little girl who was playing Helen was not seven, but 14. She was just very, very small for her age, very nice, very bright, very helpful, a little too helpful, because in rehearsal, whenever I got the line wrong, she'd look up and tell me what it was. Finally, I had to say to her, you gotta shut up, you're deaf and dumb. <laughs> and you know that moment where Helen feels the water on her hand and finally makes that connection between the word and the feeling? Well, this kid kept doing it like this. Whoa, whoa. And I, I took her into the other room where nobody could see us. I said, now listen to me. This is how you have to do it. Ooh, ooh. In fact, I was teaching her how to be deaf and dumb. She got very good reviews, which just goes to show you what a good teacher I was. Am. <laughs> <laughs>